What's up guys, today we're back at the ranch. We're starting off the morning a bit early here at the shop. Let's get right on into today's projects. I've been out here at the shop for the last hour. I was able to put the canopy back on the gator here and I did add some LED lights here which will be really handy because at night we need them when we're ripping around, having fun and also doing a little few tasks here. Now I do wanna order some more attachments here for the back. We definitely need a way to fertilize our property to make the grass as green as we can and uh, if we do want to do anything with wood or anything we need some uh, taller sides on it as well I've been inside here working on the OBS which is up on the left here did a full oil change uh, just made sure everything was good to go suspension wise fixed a few bolts that were rusted but I think it's time now to guys to get it up off the lift here but I'm really excited to be back here at the ranch you guys seem to be liking it a lot which is awesome and we do have a lot of things to come here lots of things at this new property let's get the hood put down let's get the 73 fired on up here one of my favorite engines of the uh, power strokes here wow this truck looks pretty sweet I think for now why don't we just kind of pull right on outside uh, that way we could kind of get it cleaned on up there I think I spilled a little bit of oil and we definitely want to get that cleared on up pretty soon here but a few things guys here with the shop we built it last week and I'm already kind of starting to get uh, some stuff ordered I ordered some pretty cool signs off the marketplace some old Ford logo those things like that uh, to kind of add some more decorations here too we do now have power here it's separate from the ranch which is kind of nice uh, but guys what I did order was the steel the wood needed to make a trailer port uh, that way this will be covered here because when it snows we don't want this getting frozen over with snow and things like that here so that's pretty much it here for this ranch but we have a lot to get done and I think we'll first kind of get started off here with fencing so you guys know guys the property is not flat we've hills you guys can see the uh, ranch properties up here look at that drop off that is like a 10 foot drop off and this one over here is about 15 feet so I'm thinking guys uh, for safety so no one kind of drives off here I think it's time to put up a fence all the way around and I was thinking what if we do it here but I think to make it look the best we'll do one up there and one below here and then I think we'll get some drone shots of the property here in a bit I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far. My day's been pretty sweet here. Really am excited to be back here with uh, the homeowner series with the ranch here. It's a lot of fun. But guys, we have a lot of videos here in the works here. A lot of epic mods I can't wait to start to use in my videos. It's going to be an epic, epic 2021 here. I've said it for quite a long time. And it just keeps getting on uh, better as well. And I am back to school. But uh, we are continuing daily uploads now over on Square Farms. I'm probably going to do a video or two a week at most uh, since I am pretty busy here but with this fence you guys can see it's gonna go all the way around look at that now one thing I really don't want to kind of uh, kind of a nice straight fence having uh, the kind of back and forth add some character to it and I just want it to kind of look as natural as possible as well as it takes a little bit too much time here for us and we just need the fence uh, really to kind of help us on out here we don't want anyone kind of falling off but I will say guys in the winter we'll probably try to go slow letting off it as well I think that would be a ton of fun here for the kids but I actually did get a little bit of snow and I definitely want to see if I could do some more snow blowing videos so there we have it the first fence is done up here will be a little bit more work and let's see I don't want to start it all the way back there maybe right where it just kind of starts to get uh, pretty big here but this property though is probably one of my favorite ranches of all time and farms and it just looks so nice so natural and I definitely want to kind of keep it that way looking good now there's a full mods list up on my website if you guys would like to go check it on out every single mod I use even if it's private I do have it listed and that way you guys can see where all the mods come from and possibly download them as well and use them in your own game here and if you guys haven't already go check me out on Instagram I post every single day over there some exclusive sneak peek content as well but we're just about done here I actually got to get a few fence posts as well but wow that looks to, to be pretty good. Putting in the last of the fence posts here, a lot of work, but uh, being the place where objects makes it pretty quick and easy. 
So here it is guys, the fence does look pretty neat here. I really do like the look of this rustic fencing. Looks like they take reused kind of old barn wood and make the fencing here, which looks awesome. Just look at that. That is definitely a pretty neat add on here. So up next guys, we are actually going to be picking up a chicken coop and horse paddock. And what I'm thinking is I really want it kind of close by to the tools such as the tractor, the gator and things like that. So what I'm thinking is I really want to kind of put them back here behind the shop. So we'll have the horse paddock it's a pretty big one and it's gonna be a nice fenced area for the horses and uh, we'll have a chicken coop now for the chickens since we have a huge property I'm just gonna kind of let them roam around I think that would be pretty nice maybe for the horses as well if we get the entire property fenced in but for now I think we should be good to go Let's start off here with a horse paddock. I really do like this one here. Looks really, really neat. I'm not sure on the height of this here. That might be a little tricky to adjust. And it uh, looks like we did a pretty good job here. A little bit of touch up to do there on the grass. Other than that though, I think that was a pretty good placement. Finally, we do have the chicken coop here. We do want to leave enough room. Actually, what if we kind of put it back here in this corner? I think this would be a pretty good spot for it. Yeah, that definitely kind of works out nice here. And hopefully they don't kind of run down here. And if so, hopefully they find their way back home. Here we have it guys, we have the horse paddock, which is very nice. I think this could hold probably four horses, and we'll only be buying two. At our previous ranch, we had, I think, three horses. We sold all three, and we actually made quite a bit of profit since we trained them, and they were well taken care of here. So it looks like this is where the hay, the oats has to go. Here looks like we have a gate back here, which is pretty neat. It looks like they have a little shelter here. Wow, that looks really nice. I actually really do like that tarp texture, and over here is the water trough. Now, a few things, guys here with the horses I gotta call a few farmers and see if they'll give us some hay bales some straw bales things like that that is definitely going to be needed otherwise we'll have to uh, find a different supplier usually uh, the local kind of landscape suppliers are a bit more than the local farmer all right, we'll take a look here at the chicken coop, and we are actually going to be picking up the chickens here. They should arrive here any moment. We are going to be going here with a few uh, roosters, and we want a few different types of chickens as well. I think we're going to fill it up pretty quickly. Oh, yes, guys. Looks like this is a pretty small pen. We might have to buy a second one, and that is very nice here. So it looks like they have the bedding. We just need to bring chicken food, and once again, I'm going to have to talk with a few farmers. Definitely have to get on the phone with that soon, uh, but what I'm thinking is now it's time to go up top hop there and do a few other things. Let's hop in the 6x4 Gator. Now, this is such a pretty neat vehicle. Really do like it. We do have a snow plow and salter here for it, which is pretty sweet. Definitely great uh, to just kind of be running around the property here. Looks like the gate is closed. I'm not sure if the mail came, but I think we'll let one of the kids or even the wife uh, go take a look at that here. But one thing, guys, we got to add an American flag. We're in America, and we just kind of got uh, to show the American spirit here. So what I'm thinking is I definitely maybe want to add two here, maybe one here. Uh, maybe one here. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to take a look at it in, in uh, the store. But I'm thinking, guys, we want a flag right out at the entrance as well. I think that would look pretty sweet. All right, let's take a look at where we want the American flag here. Just right off the bat, I'm looking kind of right there, or I think right here will be kind of lost here. So with the flag, guys, we actually have to have a light on it at night. Otherwise, we have to take it down here. Luckily, I will be installing lights that turn on automatically, which will be really helpful for us as well. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing here. Let's see, where do we want the flag? I think we'll put it right inside. I think right there. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. With the flags in place there, that definitely shows our American spirit here. Let's head inside here, guys. I definitely want to go up on the computer here, see if uh, what I could do here with the farmers. Uh, get a few numbers, give them a call really quickly, and maybe I, I might do a little bit of online shopping here for uh, maybe some equipment. But we'll kind of catch you back here in a bit. Alright guys, I just got off the phone here with a few farmers. Looks like we have all that ready to go and uh, we will be renting a horse trailer next week to kind of go pick up the horses. But guys, I just got a call from my buddy at the Ford dealership. You can't believe it. They have a 2021 Ford Bronco. I've always wanted one of these ever since I saw Ford release this. I said we just have to have it here in Farm Sims. So they said that we could get VIN number one of the Ford Bronco. So let's head on over there really quickly. We got to sign the paper. We got to get there uh, so that we could be the number one of kind of four Bronco purchase here. But I can't wait. And they did say it does have a lot of factory accessories already on it. 
All right, I just got dropped off here at the Ford dealership. Look at that, guys. A 2021 Ford Bronco here. Really do like it. The two-door, almost like uh, the exact spec. I would have custom ordered here. Looks like it does have a few custom parts. A light bar, a light bar up top there. Looks like a rack there. Wow, this thing looks pretty sweet here. Definitely needs that spare tire rack, but wow. It looks like they're throwing in a hitch here. This is definitely what it's going to be here. We're going to have to probably put 20% down. I have a checkbook with me. I got my pen, so I'm all ready to go. Although I was and planning on spending money we can't pass an opportunity like this the 2021 for bronco this thing looks pretty sweet here let me know guys what do you think of this as well this is kind of competition to the jeeps uh and a few other ones here and this thing just looks so so sweet here let's head inside i'm gonna find my buddy do all the paperwork and we'll catch you back once we have the keys all right, guys, it is now hours. Now, with tax, this was over $60,000 here. I put about 20% down, and the rest of it, we do have a pretty big loan on it as well. But let's take a look at this, guys, here. Look at those headlights. Oh, yeah, guys, this thing looks sweet. Really do like it. Now, this does have the manual transmission, which is what I wanted. This definitely has to be the manual. This thing looks so sweet here. Pretty good interior. This Ford Bronco looks pretty sweet here. It's going to be our first drive back here to ranch now one of the best things is uh, buying it with a ranch here this will be perfect we could actually kind of rip it around our own property we have so much land here so I, that was kind of a big purchase and i'm almost kind of thinking that we will probably be selling the 2020 cummins we probably are fine with the older obs in that first gen and with this i mean this thing could probably tow a few thousand pounds as well but wow this thing is pretty quick as well i mean this Ford bronco is pretty sweet here let me know guys if you would uh definitely want to pick one of these up here these things look so sweet and it's nice that we could have a uh, stuff in farms and before it comes out as well and uh, the average public can kind of uh, pick it up here but that's so sweet I am definitely a huge fan of kind of the Ford specialty vehicles the Ford GT the Raptors and the Shelby's and everything like that but guys we made it back here to the ranch it is ours in only a few hours guys from getting the phone call it is ours uh, that is just so sweet how sometimes things happen so fast sometimes the uh, things that are not planned are even more fun than what you had planned here for a day and that's why I always I just want to have fun here with all of you guys here as well but if you do make cool ideas for the Bronco or any other videos we should do here let me know but this is pretty epic guys bringing the Bronco back here and I think it's time to put it inside the ranch but wow this thing looks sweet every angle you look at it I mean I definitely want to put some aftermarket wheels and tires on this thing but wow wow this Ford Bronco I can't can't believe we even have a Bronco that's so uh, so awesome now one thing guys we might just have to look for the old four Bronco and uh, maybe we could own both generations I think that would be a pretty sweet thing here but I'm gonna put this inside I'm gonna take a few pictures and call it a day but hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more